Welcome to our discussion about a crucial topic, actinic keratosis, also known as solar keratosis. This is a condition characterized by scaly patches on the skin, primarily caused by excessive sun exposure. Remember, excessive sun exposure can lead to pre-malignant skin conditions like actinic keratosis. Actinic keratosis presents itself in distinct ways. This pre-malignant condition typically appears as ill-defined scaly erythematous papules or plaques on sun-damaged skin. A sandpaper-like gritty sensation is felt upon touch, particularly in sun-exposed areas. It is often easier to appreciate these symptoms on palpation rather than inspection. Let's delve into the pathophysiology, types, and epidemiology of actinic keratosis. This condition results from UV radiation damage to keratinocytes due to repeated sun exposure. There's a risk of actinic keratosis transforming to squamous cell carcinoma, especially if it's persistent. Various types of actinic keratosis exist, including erythematous, hypertrophic, and pigmented, among others. As for epidemiology, actinic keratosis is common with increasing age, outdoor occupations, and in lighter skin phototypes. Actinic keratosis is more common in lighter skin phototypes and increases with age. Diagnosis and management of actinic keratosis are critical steps. Differential diagnosis involves distinguishing actinic keratosis from other conditions like SCC in situ, superficial BCC, seborrheic keratosis, and cutaneous lupus erythematosus. In terms of investigations, a biopsy becomes necessary for lesions that resist treatment. With management, we have two main avenues, destructive methods such as cryotherapy and electrodesiccation, and pharmacotherapy, which includes treatments like fluorouracil cream and amikimod cream. Biopsy of lesions refractory to treatment is crucial in the investigation phase, and management could be destructive or pharmacological. In summary, actinic keratosis is a significant skin condition resulting from excessive sun exposure. It's characterized by scaly erythematous papules or plaques on sun-damaged skin. The pathophysiology involves UV radiation damage to keratinocytes, and there are various types of AK lesions, it's common with increasing age and more in males than females. Differential diagnosis includes conditions like SCC in situ and superficial BCC. Investigations often include a biopsy of lesions resistant to treatment. Management approaches include cryotherapy and pharmacotherapy. Remember, awareness and early management are key to preventing the progression of actinic keratosis.